Okay, well it's minus eight as of making this video and uh, I thought I'd just come out and spend a few moments talking about a subject which uh, affects everybody, whether you're saved or not. And uh, I'm speaking about depression, anxiety and even suicide. We are three or four weeks away from Christmas and uh, every year families will come together and spend two or three days or even more together. Throughout the year they rarely speak, if at all, and yet when Christmas comes around they are all thrown together. For the most part you've got unsaved people sitting with saved people and uh, that's never easy at the best of times. But uh, Christmas seems to have one or two reactions. The first is a blessing, it's a time to take a break from work, spend time with your family, with your friends, recharge your batteries and of course preach the gospel. The other side of course is one of despair and I say one of suicide. More divorces occur after Christmas than any other time throughout the year. More people will get drunk at Christmas, go out and assault somebody they know or don't know. Now saying all of that I want to try and open this video up a bit more to look at a wider problem. Depression. Now everybody struggles with depression. Elijah struggled with depression, Paul struggled with depression and uh, Elijah was even suicidal so if you are a person who is prone to depression or anxiety then you are quite normal and uh, if you are around people that say that you're not normal then take no notice of them. One of the problems that we have I believe is uh, a huge amount of this Lordship Salvation Gospel which has pretty much become endemic in all areas of Christianity and these Lordship Salvation people will give the impression that their lives are rosy that they don't struggle at all and that they are pretty much victorious in every possible way only last night I was watching a well-known preacher giving a video Q&A and he said that over the years his faith had never failed him and he'd always come through every trial and tribulation victorious. I don't believe that. I just don't believe that. I find people in the Bible struggling and failing. Christ was the only person who was totally victorious in every possible way. But because this party holds to the Lordship Salvation view, he doesn't want to give the position that man has two natures, the regenerate nature and the unregenerate nature. I am doing a, a brief Bible study at the moment on demon possession, so what I'm going to say is just a brief uh, sneak, uh, a brief view, if you will. It's not going to be a, a long dissertation, whether it's on video or in writing, but uh, I do find a lot of demon possession in the Bible. Not much in the Old Testament. To the best of my knowledge, I can't recall anybody in the Old Testament being demon possessed and then being delivered, being uh, exercised through the Holy Ghost. I don't find that. I find it in the Gospels, of course. Jesus Christ did exorcisms left, right and centre and so did the Apostle Paul and no doubt the other Apostles did uh, throughout the period of Acts. But in reality you're looking at a 30 year period from the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ to the end of the book of Acts is a 30 year period. Beyond the Acts we don't find uh, exorcisms, uh, we certainly don't find it in the Epistles. Now the reason I say that is because my brief study into this whole area shows that uh, one of the main groups that are demon possessed are children, funnily enough. I don't find it among the religious crowd. You would think that Nicodemus may have been demon possessed before he was born again. You may have thought that Caiaphas and Ananias may have been demon possessed and Herod and all those guys, and they may well have been, but the writers of the Gospels don't tell us that. They tell us that there were children that were possessed, but never these religious leaders. Now, I still believe that people are possessed by the devil today. I do believe that, although I'm a Satanist, I still believe that people are demon possessed, but I don't believe it's anywhere near the sort of scale that you find in the Gospels. What I will say is this, that if you are a Christian that struggles with depression or anxiety, that does not mean necessarily you are demon possessed. Now, I don't believe that a saved man or woman can be possessed. You can be oppressed, but not possessed. One of the reasons why so many Christians struggle with depression, 
uh, is because for most for the most part they have a lot of time on their hands if you're not in employment if you're not making uh, good stewardship if you're not a good steward of your time then of course you've got time on your hands and when you have time in your hands uh, that can create work for the devil anxiety is something which everybody struggles with I don't care who you are you will struggle with anxiety at least once in your life what you need to do quite simply is to get busy for the Lord you need to create something to do whether it's a ministry whether it's through tracts or preaching uh, or going door to door whatever you need to be busy for the Lord I think there's too many people who are sitting around with time on their hands and of course that creates uh, problems and it gives you a chance to brew uh, brood I should say on uh, <laughs> some of your past failures you need to focus on the Lord and the scripture says when you focus on the Lord you have perfect peace your life won't be a bed of roses I've said this so many times life is going to be difficult Paul says those that live godly lives will suffer persecution you will suffer you will struggle but it's not abnormal to be depressed it's not abnormal to be anxious what you need to do is come to the Lord and throw yourself at his feet you need to cry out to the Lord and say Lord I can't handle this anymore I need you to come beside me suicide another huge problem which affects saved and unsaved people and no you don't go to hell if you commit suicide although suicide is not an option and I want to say that if you are struggling at the moment with uh, worries with anxieties don't take your life please don't even contemplate going down that path we will pray for you and if we can we will come and visit you if you are in the UK there are many people out there which care for you and uh, if you are going through a period at the moment of severe depression and you don't know what to do then drop us a line and I promise you that we will set a prayer group up for you and like I say if we can we will come and pray with you now I'm just making this video as a, a brief uh, thought or two that I have this time of year I know that a lot of people are going to struggle throughout Christmas I know a lot of people that are reformed alcoholics find this a very difficult time of year and if you are an ex-alcoholic then stand firm okay if you're an ex-drug addict stand firm don't fall back into the flesh keep pushing on there was a man some years ago called Barry Smith a decent man a very good man and uh, I met him once and Patrick met him a few times and uh, Barry Smith was a Pentecostal by denomination and he held the position which a lot of charismatics and Pentecostals hold to that suicide was one of the unpardonable sins and for many years he did preach that message one day his daughter fell into a prolonged period of depression and uh, sadly she went out and took her own life Smith never really got over that but what it forced him to do was ditch that position and go back to the scriptures your salvation is totally dependent on the person of Jesus Christ and I've made so many videos on eternal security that I don't want to go over that again but I will say this that you cannot keep yourself saved your fellowship is something which you can control you can lose your fellowship through sin through apostasy or whatever but you cannot lose your salvation and uh, I'm not saying that uh, suicide is an option as far as I'm concerned it's never an option it's never acceptable but please don't feel you're on your own stick with the Lord and if we can help you we will certainly do so